an intruder gets into the house, kills the dog of the house that tries to protect its master from this intruder and the intruder walks away after paying a penalty of just 5000 rupees, a fine of 5000 rupees. Times of India Today, also covered in Mumbai Mirror, slightly conflicting reports by the same publisher but anyway, here are the facts of the case. A man is having a fight with a lady, apparently they are related. The girl gets scared of him, runs into the neighbor's house. He takes out a knife, gives her a chase, enters the neighbor's house. The neighbor tries to defend the girl. He waves, knife, he waves his knife at her. The dog of the house pounces on the intruder to defend the lady and the intruder stabs the dog, kills the dog and runs away. Now this is gruesome. What is more gruesome is the manner in which he was let free. He was fined 5000 rupees and let go because after all he just caused the death of a dog. Now, it's a fact that a death of a canine, the dog even if it's a pet dog, is not considered to be a big offence in India. But however, grave errors have occurred here in the manner the investigation officer must have submitted the report. I am simply going by newspaper report, I don't have the facts with me. But here are a list of charges that this jerk should have been charged with and was not charged with. Had he been charged with these charges, he would not have got bail. The police officer failed to recognize that this intruder got into the house, which makes it a criminal trespass. And a criminal trespass is very clearly an offense and it is non-bailable. Is that right? It is non-bailable, criminal trespass. Section 441 will scroll down now. This person then takes out a knife and I am presuming was setting about to attack the girl that he was chasing or the lady of the house when the dog attacked the intruder. So why was he not charged with attempt to murder? It's anybody's guess. It's, it's, it's painful, it is sloppy investigation and he should have been charged with one more section and here it scrolls down 307 attempt to murder. Very clearly what was he doing with the knife? He was not there to cut some fruits and offer to the lady. He was there to attack whoever he gets. So attempt to murder is established the moment he shows the knife. Couple of other sections, section 325, punishment for voluntarily causing grievous hurt. 335, 324, all of these sections must not have been reflected or charged with upon this criminal, which is why he gets away with a fine. Now. In cases like this, apparently the, the lady of the house is not somebody who comes from wealth, who, who has means to deploy a top lawyer to go and fight for her. It is under these circumstances that the investigating officer, the public prosecutor and the honourable court must exercise extraordinary due diligence in fastening liability on this jerk. The concept of mens rea a Latin phrase that will scroll down now is very clear that if there was an intention to do a crime, the criminal is rightfully justified of being accused of that crime. He carried a knife, gave chase to this girl, entered the house, he has broken all sorts of laws and there is no doubt in anybody's mind that he intended to do a commit a crime. He is a killer out on the loose, he should be brought back to justice and he should be confined to a police lockup, interrogated, investigated, sent to judicial custody and made to stand trial for all these charges. Now, what can an investigating officer do or what can an animal rights activist do? There are a lot of animal rights activists who are crying themselves hoarse over this barbaric act. But here is, one of, here is, what, here is something that one of them can do. There is no point holding placards. There is no, no point holding rallies. You should show up at the court and you should ask the investigating officer to use this provision in the Code of Criminal Procedure, Section 173, Subsection 8. Give it a cursory reading, it's very simple. The investigating officer can further investigate upon your application and submit to the court his new findings. So if you are somewhere near this Antop Hill police station, go to the police officer, ask him to use 173.8. If you are an animal rights activist, 
show this video to the investigating officer maybe it will help him understand what provisions he missed out and if you're a public prosecutor if you're a brother or sister lawyer in the court on that day aid the dispensing of justice by bringing this to the light by bringing this to the knowledge of the honorable court that the circumstances surrounding were different from what was projected perhaps it is not that he was walking on the road a dog attacked him and he killed the dog in self defense no he entered the house the dog defended the master of the house and he killed the dog instead of killing of killing the master of the house front page news and this is a great example of where law administration should be far more vigilant because of the poor background of the lady instead of being more casual as it seems to have been in this particular case there are also revisionary powers that senior courts enjoy those sections i think 397 if i'm not mistaken until 401 of the code of criminal procedure a sessions court or the high court can exercise their own powers and call for this file and make sure that justice is done to the dog as well as to the lady and who knows probably to this girl who was so scared why did she run away she ran away because this jerk was probably going to stab her he can still do it he can find her and still do what he was trying to do so here is a case that needs to be set right if there is a journalist i know uh uh I know uh, somebody from DNA is watching this so do the right thing get justice done in this case thank you